Uh, let me please, thank you. There we go. There's an Appy down there as well. I want to eat that. Ooh, I level up. That's a good one, isn't it? That's a hit tile. Let me just keep hitting you. Need loads of XP. 100 XP. That's a dead end. That looks like a dead end. Don't want to be fighting you. Tyrannos Roar. Well, the stairs. You can get to see the enemy. That's 50 crit though. Give me a storm of health. Ouch. Go just see sucking the HP. Nice, 40 right. Sort of most of my HP right off the bat. Floor 7 now. 29, 20, 31, 35. Ouch. I got annihilated. That's probably the right word for that. I'm annihilated. Rallis is hit in though. Do have a few more revive gems on. Don't I? I should have. I got one more revive gem. Should have brought a few more with me. My AC is running low. Uh, eat an apple. Thank you. 50 AC, back in. Uh, crap. Locked in from both sides. Attack down. Collect that. Waddle myself past you. Stairs. Okay. Floor 8. There's an event there, but there's two. Heavy dragon. That's a crit as well. I might get a miss. This does not look good. Let me dive myself out there. Got Tyronus four as well, so that's not good. Uh, okay, five, one. Jesus Christ! Jesus, really? How much? How? 263 XP out of that. Well, I'm gonna have to. Oh, baby. Come on. 46 crit. Would really love if I could actually make it past a dungeon the first time. That would be so nice. That's just all dead ends. That's softened tiled as well. Stairs, stairs. Okay, ninth floor. Oh my god. Goodbye. Store this up. Ouch. Ouch, 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 ouch. Oh Jesus Christ, where's my medkit? Holy cow. Why is he moving so fast? Jesus Christ. Oh, paralysis. You lifesaver. Paralysis the lifesaver. That shouldn't that should never ever be in a sentence together, but you know. Paralysis being life saving. That's a dead end. Oh man. These dungeons are just like, are just like against me so bad. Four. Poison. Much, Jesus Christ. I'm just like walloping on it. 
Where's my antidote? Q. I'm not gonna. Uh, shall I chance it? Let's chance it. Ripe an apple. Not bad. Well, there's only one or two places left. And that just. Oh, okay. There's. Oh, okay, 10th floor. We made it to the 10th floor. But this bloody guy's here. No, it hits hard, man. I'm not hitting hard enough to really keep up. Come on, stairs. I'm on the 10th floor here. Uh, I'm not gonna chance it. Let's just dive. Okay, that worked out pretty well, I guess. This guy is kind of a pain. Doesn't hurt a lot, but it's paralysis. It's just annoying to deal with. Twenty-one. And 50 crits, that's right. Fuse tile. Going backwards and forwards between these. Ouch. Uh, okay. Nice deal of you. I'm not gonna risk it. Let me take an H HP pop. A novel accessory. Okay, dungeon cleared. That was way too close. I need more items. Should take at least three revive gems. Three, four revive gems with me each time into a dungeon. This place looks different than the other previous place. This is my spirit world. Welcome. What does spirit world actually mean? Uh, the explanation Ariel gave me didn't make any sense at all. It's kind of unfair of her to use that term while really explaining it. You guys use it for the sake of Phantasma, and God can enter it. All living creatures have a world within their minds. And it's not like those worlds are separated individually. Everything is connected, related, tied into, and overlapped with each other. It's a place where all consciousness resides, and all souls return to. It's basically where life is conceived, that is, the spirit world. I'm using a bit of my power. What you saw earlier was the current state of the people you know. Uh, what the heck does that mean? Just because you were in a dream, you're just saying whatever you want. She just sounds way too absurd. What does she mean? All consciousness and souls are connected? They're usually separated, right? Nah, never mind. I guess it's okay for it to be absurd. Since this is a dream, you still can't believe it, can you, there? Uh, still, I'm still going to get infused. I want you to know, and I explained it to you since this was the perfect opportunity. To me, why? I'm just a simple weak human who became god for the Celestia to fight against the devils. You underestimate uh, yourself. Uh, too much strong, much stronger than needed. Of course, my powers are strong, but I can transport it with the crystal. It's not like that. What other reason could there be? The spirit world faithfully respects, uh, reflects the movement of the mental spirit of each living creature. Uh, the current spirit world is dark and stagnant. Disputes creates disputes and hatred beg uh, begets hatred. If this continues, the world will just go too steep and die. Uh, the current just continues without pause. The infinite chain must be cut somewhere down the line. The world needs to be awakened. What are you saying? What in the world are you? I am the one who has the duty of bundling fates, connecting the spirit world with the real world, and ultimately awakening the world. I've determined that you meet all of the qualifications needed to awaken uh, the sleeping fate and put a stop to the world or a new world. So I've chosen you, I want to save you. Actually, I only just understood that last part and just barely. Save me how? Malfunction in your crystal or do something about it. Uh, Ariel said it can't be fixed unless she moves the crystal. I'll fix it. The moment you wake up here, the problem will be gone. Really? Huh. I will guide your fate. You will become God and pass pacify the war and awaken the world. It's the fate you must follow. 
there's no way everything will be uh, resolved that conveniently. It's not like you're God, huh? You're the real God. You're the real God. Leticia is the real God. The God of all gods. Have you awakened, Stupio? Where am I? I thought you would never wake up. I'm in the lab, right? This isn't just a continuation of my dream, is it? Ah, uh, my dream. Oh yeah, even though I was taking it pretty seriously, it was just a dream. Then all that stuff about the crystal and the spirit world or whatnot, was it all just a dream? I was looking forward to the crystal being fixed by the time I woke up, just like she said in my dream, so I'm a little so disappointed. Why is everyone so pale? Hmm. Ow, oh, I know that. Good morning. For some reason, I end up giving a silly greeting. It's probably because I don't actually feel like I just woke up. What's going on? What's happened to Celestia? No, there was some damage. It's all right. We've already covered, and we're moving without trouble. I see. That's good to hear. Which reminds me, I totally collapsed and faded. Uh, the moment Hien 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 took off. Well, now now that you awakened, we can proceed with this long-awaited moment. Long awaited, what kind of moment is this? Area slowly place, place an earthen pot on the desk, first of all. Why an earthen pot? Nice. What is that? Bring over dinner instead of instant noodle cups, must still be dreaming. Better not say a cup of <laughs> instant noodle. An earthen pot, are you making a packet of instant noodle? It's not a packet of instant noodle. You took the instant noodle out of the cup and put them in the pot. <laughs> Get away constant. Uh, the concept of instant out of anything. But even if you say that, rice porridge. Are you serious? Is it wrong for me to cook? You don't want to eat it. I will. Arya went to all the trouble coming to my room and asking for me how to make rice porridge. And she's blushing. Well, that's basically true, but what's wrong with that? Just eat it. Of course I'll eat it. Oh, it's so hot that it burns me. For some reason I end up sounding really polite. Uh, okay, chopsticks. You, need, uh, you have need of one, I, have, I brought a spoon. So you just have to scoop her. <laughs> it wouldn't be sort of difficult to eat out of this with chopsticks, really. I'm sure it would be easier to serve it in smaller bowls first. Mr. Uh, she makes Ariel hold it. Uh, feeding? Okay, uh, I'll take that. I'll take that for sure. Uh, push the screen away and turn to her head. Then shall I do it? Stops her by grabbing her wrist. I'm the one who brought up the idea. Why should we... So Shin is under medical care. There's no way I could tell him to do something as the boy is feeding himself. Uh, you say that you do not want to do it by process of elimination. I will be next in line, correct? Also, I would like to feed Sir Shin his porridge. You do not mind, right? We'll hold the spoon at the same time and feed him. How does that sound? It may feel even more embarrassing now then. Sir Shin, please open your mouth. You're not going to blow it or anything. That looks really odd, <laughs> to say the least. Uh, it's pretty embarrassing, but I feel bad if I said no, so I try to enjoy it. It's good. Por uh, the porridge has a perfect amount of salt, simple seasoning, it tasted delicious. So, so I just wanted to make it taste like instant noodle, but Chubby stopped me, I was worried it would taste too plain. I think she's the one who needs to get away from the concept of instant noodles. Does that mean you two made it together? Do you believe that I even own a pot in the first place? Uh, true, true, very true. Since I was already borrowing wit, I decided to go ahead and have, a, have her teach me some things. I want to eat up. I can't believe what I'm hearing. Well, I won't be rude and say that. They must be getting along better. Then Ariel and Jupiel feed me the porridge together. Ah, uh, isn't it about time you started sounding friendlier when you say my name? Must you starting to think of the same thing? Uh, try to distance yourself from me. Since we know each other quite well, she can sound more caring. Uh, I'll start calling you by your first name. By doing that, we shall reach an equilibrium. Well, if you two are fine with that. In fact, for our gracious tool to address me on friendly terms, I agree. We'll just put a little pep in our names. Oh, okay, we just add the sand. <laughs> and you're already, you're already back to standing distant. 
tried it her way, but it sounded even worse, and it was even more embarrassing. I don't even hear what I said. Just Jupio Narubo, I guess. Without the sun. I'm guessing it's just without the sun. Uh, it seems a little out of place. I start sounding friendlier when I say both their names. Being so friendly with girls is pretty embarrassing, but if they gave me permission to do that, then we've gotten close. So I don't feel bad. In fact, it makes me happy to think that I forged a relationship with them. Well, well, well. Isn't that nice? Customization. Let me go into Devil. Let me get that last skill. We'll take this quick shade. That gives me a trophy. No trophy? Okay. Didn't get any trophy out of that. It's weird. So, we go to Storehouse and store some stuff. Restraint decreases SP usage skill effect. There we go. There we go. Trophy. 